What's up everyone? Welcome to Film Fights TV. I'm Justin, founder of Film Fights, and this film fight was all about film fights. There's so much film fights going on, I love it! Film Fights TV. We set the rules, you make the films, you decide the winner. This film fight is all about film fights. We asked you guys to make a 30 second film fights commercial. Very cool, I was very honored that the, some of the folks in the forums were into this fight. All right, so we had three great heavyweights. The first one was from Escape Productions. These guys have done some great stuff for film fights in the past. It was called The Challenge, and this one was no exception. Now what I really liked about this one, first of all, you're packing a lot into 30 seconds. The intro film with lightsabers, and then you have the guy showing up, he's breaking their film shoot reality, he's telling them about film fights. You even fit in stuff where you show the film fights website, that's totally awesome. So you guys did an awesome job of filming and packing a bunch of stuff into a short amount of time. And that's exactly what you should be thinking about doing for these 30 second fights. Now some stuff you could have worked on, the video is interlaced and that drives me totally nuts. Make sure you're always de-interlacing your stuff because if it's interlaced, it's gonna look like garbage. Always, 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 always make sure you're shooting de-interlaced and make sure you're editing de-interlaced because interlacing is for old school TVs and not for the internet and it makes everything look screwed up and it makes me angry. That's the biggest thing. Also, there's some explosions at the end where you're using like some stock footage and you've squished it a little bit. Keep the aspect ratio for everything exactly as it should be or at least really close to it should be. When the scroll comes out and you see filmfights.com, it would have been great if you used the Film Fights logo. Whenever you're working for a brand, like for example, if you went over to onlinevideocontest.com, our sister site, and checked out some of the contests there, you're gonna be looking at a lot of stuff where brands wanna have 30 second spots made for them. So Whenever you're doing that, you gotta pay attention to the logo. You gotta keep the logo exactly the same as it is uh, in, in real life. You even maybe wanna use the same kind of color schemes that the brand uses. This is all very important stuff for you guys if you wanna be doing commercial work in the future, but still a lot of fun, great piece, and explains the fun of film fights and also explains what film fights is very well. So great job, guys. Love this one. Our next heavyweight was from Slug Shell Productions. And it was a subliminal message film. Now, I didn't know this was a subliminal message thing until I actually read the description of this one. I thought it was just a kind of weird bunch of shots of foresty type of stuff, and I kind of got the hypnosis type thing, like, oh, we're trying to trick you into something or whatever. Really, with a subliminal message, you want to have it like one frame or like just one or two frames. And this was kind of like an awkward space between like when it was long enough to actually be readable or short enough to be like, oh, they're trying to, like, I should go back and pause because what do they say? I would also suggest you use less words, even if it was just like submit, film fights, obey, like one big word up on the screen instead of big blocks of text would have made more sense. What I liked about this is that uh, the music was soothing. The, if you went out and shot all that stuff in the forest, it looked really nice. Good camera work there. But I really would have loved to see the subliminal idea taken to the next level. If we cut at the end to someone who's strapped to a chair and their eyes are wide open and they're watching this screen with some film fight scientists trying to hypnotize them, there's a lot more you could have done with this idea in 30 seconds. You didn't really execute it as well as you could have for the concept that you had. Would have been good too to see some variety of not just the forest scenes, but some other beautiful scenes like rolling mountains, puppies jumping around in slow motion. A lot of other stuff you could have done with this that you didn't and it just made the 30 seconds feel slow and not that interesting. The third heavyweight was from Robot Snake Entertainment and it was like a crazy video game thing. First of all, what I liked. I love that you have the actual Film Fights logo up in there. You bring the branding of the website into your actual film. Also, a great attention to detail. There's a lot of different fighters you can choose from, so cool that you put all the time into making all those graphics. A lot of skill, a lot of time required in that. I totally respect the effort. Also, I love the music. I think it was probably copyright from something, but still really like the music, like the sound effects, and the ending was really silly, kind of like a Tim and Eric type thing. It had a lot of fun elements to it. Now, some stuff you guys could have worked on. It's not about film fights, really. You're taking the name. It didn't match what we wanted to have this fight be about, even though it was cool. It's still more of like what people incorrectly think Film Fights is all about instead of what it's actually all about. I wouldn't show this to someone and, and say, this is gonna teach you about Film Fights. If this would have been more towards Film Fights, perhaps in the little boxes you used old school Film Fighters, Mir Blumenfeld, Tamikaze, you put them up in their little squares so it feels really fun for the community. That would have been a really cool thing to do. And also to explain what the website is more, that would have been good. I'd love to see you guys take the style and put it towards uh, future fights make sure that it makes a little more sense. Creating a video game 
for each fight idea seems like a lot of fun and a really cool niche you guys could fill on the film fight site. So those were our three heavyweights. Before I weigh in on my winner, tell me in the comment section below which one was your favorite. Make sure you go check out filmfights.com and see all the films or check the links on YouTube. They're all going to be in the description below. Before I give a verdict, love to hear your stance on this film fight. So for me, this was a pretty easy decision. Escape did a great job. They packed so much into those 30 seconds. They had the actual spiel about what film fights was. It made a lot of sense. It was a lot of fun, even though it was interlaced, which drives me nuts. Still very well done to the point. So congratulations, Escape. You guys did an awesome job. Always love to see your entries. And thanks for everyone else for submitting. They just weren't on point as much as Escape's was. Our middleweight was Pacific Water Films. I thought there was some interesting stuff in this. The major thing that I would say is make sure that your audio levels make sense. If you have music, it should not drown out your voiceover because if you can't understand the voiceover and there's no subtitles, no one's gonna know what the heck's going on in your film. I like the style of the opening, even though it's kind of kind of weird about Twin Tower stuff. Didn't really get that, but I did like the style of it. Something that you could use in something else, and it would be cool. Some shots at the end were cool with the big giant ball falling into the ground and splitting the ground open. That was cool. Although some of the shots of just like rolling around in the ground with guns didn't really make any sense. It was too confusing, and the with the audio stuff, you couldn't tell what was going on. So that's like a major thing you guys should work on fixing is make sure your audio makes sense in the next one, so people know what's happening. And our lightweight was from Cyan. Man, and this was actually kind of cool. I like this one. I might bump it up to middleweight. Actually, it had a fun story. I like the idea of these two uh, filmmakers fighting. And they're out in the woods. I love the opening shot. There's just something silly about the younger filmmaker just firing the gun up into the air. It's kind of ridiculous. It made me smile. It was very watchable. Everything was uh, not shot great, but not shot badly. Your audio was okay. My suggestion to you is that you want to make sure you don't just get far away shots, but you get close up shots because the close ups will be good so your your audience really feels for your character but your close-ups will also have better audio than your shots far away so if you shoot everything twice you can use your far away shots dub in the audio from the close shots and it'll sound a lot better it always kind of creeps me out a little bit when i see younger filmmakers shooting each other and killing each other with guns i'm sure it's creepy for your parents too yeah, i know it's a lot of fun to play with guns but when you're a kid you can still be in kid-like situations when, when you're younger that are still intense maybe try to experiment with something else Else that would make more sense in the in the real world than a kids with AK-47. Maybe you want to think of something where you're actually playing more towards your age. All right, that's Film Fights TV. If you guys aren't subscribed to Film Fights on YouTube, make sure you subscribe. Of course, we love all your comments. Leave them in the comment section below. You can check out links to all the films and of course filmfights.com in the description below if you're watching on youtube.com. And also make sure to check out our future fights, filmfights.com forward slash future fights. Here's our next fight coming up right underneath me. It's going to be coming up in, in just a couple days now. Make sure you submit to that. And our fight after that, write down the description here, right down below me. So start preparing your film for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. We just love seeing new people involved with film fights. If you've been watching, if you've been sitting on the sidelines for a while, now is the time to get involved with film fights. I'm also starting to think about Film Fights Con this year. We've done it multiple years in the past. We kind of had a, a break for the last year or two. But if we were going to have a Film Fights Con, where would you guys like to have it? It's going to have to be in the continental US just because most of our filmmakers are here. Do you want it in the Midwest? Do you want it in LA? Do you want it in the East Coast? Where are you guys located and where would you like to see a Film Fights Con? I'd love to see you weigh in in the comment section below and there'll be a lot more on this coming up in the future. That's it for Film Fights TV. Film Fights.